Hey y'all, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some fried, or well, cheesy fried hush puppies. Y'all, it is Friday and these are perfect for Fish Fry Friday or any other day of the week, honey. Okay, let's get to the tutorial. Alright, so, first I'm going to be starting out with my Jiffy. Now, I use Jiffy for this recipe. Don't be using that dressing and stuff on that. It's going to be sopped up. But you can use Jiffy or a sweet cornbread mix um, of choice in this recipe. I like the sweetness that it gives with the cheese and everything else we're going to add to that. So I like to use the Jiffy mix. Okay. Use Jiffy for this if you have it. Then I'm going to flop down. <laughs> okay. It just dropped down and got its eagle on, didn't it? That cream cheese just did what it wanted to do up in the bowl. So we're going to add some cream cheese and you know we're going to list all the ingredients and everything you need in the description box. Then I'm going to chop up some scallions here or if you have some chopped onion, frozen onion, whatever you want to use, you can add that to that. But I like scallions in there. Plus just make it look so pretty, honey, okay? We add green to these fried hush puppies. That means that we, we vegan now. <laughs> Lies. All right, so I'm going to add my seasonings with my scallions and my cornbread mix and my cream cheese. I'm going to add some seasoning up in there because you know it got to be soft up, honey. You need some seasons up in there, okay? And then we're going to add our cheese. I'm using mozzarella because I want that stringy pull effect. And I also am going to be using some sharp cheddar. So just add your cheese in there as much as you want. I use about three to four cups of cheese in this, y'all, okay? And there goes our beautiful cheddar that we placed in our bowl there. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to get ready to add our buttermilk to that. I'm not going to use any eggs in this. So you're not going to make it like you would normally make cornbread, y'all. Okay, you want to, this batter is going to be kind of thick. Okay, it's going to go get your workout on. All right, honey, it's going to be thicker than a snicker. Ow, I've heard that before. <laughs> Okay, so we add our buttermilk and then we're going to turn it around just like this. As you can see, it's, it's going to be a thick batter, y'all. Okay, so make sure you just get into it, honey. You can do it. Put your back into it. Uh, I can do it. Whip my back into it. Uh, do it like that. Okay, just stir it around just, just until the batter looks just like this. Almost like a biscuit dough almost, okay? Now we're going to fry them up. I'm using a small... Um, ice cream scooper here because I wanted to be the same size and I wanted to cook evenly. I am cooking this in a deep size cast iron pot, but if you have a deep fryer, please use a deep fryer, y'all, okay? Or use a deep, deep pot, all right? So you're just going to place your oil in there and let it preheat, and then once the oil gets nice and hot, if you're using a deep fryer, put it on 375 and just uh, scoop them down in there. I'm cooking six to seven hush puppies at a time. You don't want to overcrowd the pan because you don't want them to clump together and it'll be a whole bunch of mush, honey. Know what they're going to do? Talk about you in the group chat, okay? We don't need that. So just cook about six to seven at a time and they're going to get golden brown. They're going to cook really, really fast, y'all, about two to three minutes. And I just take my spoon here that I have holes. I, I like to use a spoon with holes in it. And you just want to swish them around in there. Let everybody get sopped up in that hot grease jacuzzi just like that right there, okay? They're going to kind of start to float to the top. As you can see, they're floating. But I want mine to get just a little more brown, so I'm just going to let them cook for about 10 more seconds. And once they start to look like this right here and start floating around and you're flipping them over and you're rubbing them down just like that, you're going to start to take them out. So just get you uh, some paper towels, put them to the side on top of a plate, and you're just going to remove the hush puppies. Or if you have a uh, rack that you like to put your... Um, your things on, you can put them on that. But I just use some paper towels, honey, and a paper plate. Ain't no shame in my game, okay? So once they start to look like this and they kind of start to float, what you want to do is just take them out, scoop them out, just like this. Y'all, I swear I love frying things. It's it just it's so confident to me. It's like food rain. That's what it sounds like. I just love it. So remove them from the heat and that is it. I kind of sprinkled them with a little bit of salt once I removed all of them and then you're going to just cook the rest of your batter, okay? Once they come out, you can drizzle them with the little hot sauce ranch that I made up on the side. I'll put the ingredients in the description box and just put a little few scallions on there if you want to make it pretty, okay? Or you can eat these with fried fish. Y'all know it's Friday so it's fried fish Friday. Perfect for fried fish Friday, okay? And you can just eat them like that or you can put them in that chili that I made the other day that I posted for y'all. Uh-huh. Put it up in there right there. But, baby, look at this. Look how cheesy and delicious these things are. Baby, you can also make a honey butter to go on the side, too. <laughs> That's it, y'all. And if you want to kind of get some more uh, recipes to go with this thing, you can get my juke joint fried shrimp. It's the holidays, so make sure you get that red velvet cornbread with that cream cheese butter. Make that seafood mac and cheese, huh? And go ahead and get them Henny Honey Wings, baby. Oh, 
and let's do brunch for Christmas. Seven up pound cakes, baby. Yeah, honey, going on over to StoveTopKiss.com. Get Haywood's Place. They 20% off day anyway. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Check the description box for all details. Bye, y'all.